Hey folks, we're back again today, another day, a new day. And we're gonna try and get the uh, display wired up here in Bob and see where we can put that. Let's go take a look in here. Oh. So <clears throat> my thought was mounted up here and the uh, the metal bracket that it comes with does not allow me to mount it up there very well, but it does come with this plastic bracket. Um, it does seem pretty sturdy, but reservations are still out. Uh, but up front, it does give me the ability to mount the display right here and affix it to uh, something secure. So that is our plan. Try and get this center panel off here and fix it so we can go ahead and uh, get that wired in run the cables down here down to where the power is and then try and get through the back to the engine area so that is the next course of action take these two screws out here and i believe i'll also have to loosen these again so i can get this out around this paneling so that is our next step all right folks we are back in bob and i got it wired up about to turn it on the only downside i came came across was my stereo plug is not hot so i assume it is wired just somewhere in the back or belly it is not connected because it does not have that option so what i'm going to do instead is tap into the cigarette lighter and uh, I want to replace this with just a USB jack, and I've got one. I just don't have... I can't get this thing out for some strange reason, and I'm not going to sit and fight with it for right now. But that'll be a project for another <clears throat> day. Um, but my main disappointment was I am short electrical connectors, crimp connectors, to go ahead and uh, just crimp these wires over the existing big 10-gauge, 12-gauge, whatever this is, from the... Uh, cigarette lighter. So for now, I unplugged the cigarette lighter, tapped him into the back, wrapped him up just to test things here, and uh, I ran the wire outside <clears throat> around the back just to see if it uh, if it will uh, fire up for us. I know I've got power here, but I just went ahead and connected the camera, so let's turn that on and see what we get. Hey, there's our camera. Look at that. <clears throat> That's actually a pretty decent view. I can... Yeah, that's, uh, when I turn around, if you look out the back here, that's what you see out the back of the back of the bus here. You've got a huge blind spot there and there. And these corners here, specifically places I could not see out of the back or around, actually. Uh, yeah, over here I have the uh, cedar, the walk, the push little lawn cedar. I can't see that at all out my back. And on the other side over here, I can't see the shovel, I can't see the broom or anything there. So this is awesome for visibility. I'll probably adjust it down <clears throat> a hair more when I can see it, uh, but that's good to see. Um, this is, I guess, as stable as this trim piece is going to allow it to be. If it becomes overly jittery, I will probably just bite the bullet and drill into the steel plate here in the roof and mount it that way. Um, it's what the previous owner did with their uh, scale uh, display, but you know, they cracked the Lexan, drilled through the frame, and I had to fill that up with uh, some silicone when I brought it home. So, you know, if I can avoid putting more holes in here, I'm certainly gonna try and do that. But it does run, it does fire right up, so that's pretty awesome. And see if we get any jitter when we turn it on. Oh, it looks it looks pretty pretty good uh, pretty good picture still not seeing any you know vibration or anything from the uh, on the <clears throat> it's 
display, so that's nice. Don't have the trigger wire plugged in, so none of the backup lines are going to do anything for us. So, oh well, <clears throat> so be it. Uh, if I wanted to rotate it, I could. Look at that. So that's kind of handy. Does have auto dimming, so that's nice. Oops, if I can go back. Can change the aspect, which who cares? It's wide wide uh, format, so we'll keep that. Auto dimming is cool. We'll go back, and what else we got here? Screensaver. Look at that. So, oh, that's not helpful. can figure out how to navigate a menu. <clears throat> yeah, it's not going to help me too much. I was hoping it would have had a timeout on it. Uh, so after so long, it would just turn off. So once I leave the Bobcat, it uh, doesn't stay on. But hey, I can just hit the power button and call it good. Um, or if I can figure out how to tie up, uh, give these 12 volts down here for the stereo. Um, maybe I'll give that another time when it's cold and rainy and gross out and I got nothing better to do. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and work on routing this video cable through the cab back behind here. I got to tip the cab up and get it into the back. So. That's going to be our next fun challenge. I have zero ambition to strip everything out of here to try and run this cable back. So hopefully I can just run it along this channel and <clears throat> tuck my hand in enough places to run it through. So I'll go ahead and tip the cab up and we'll uh, actually run the cable through, then tip the cab up and see where we can, uh, we can pull this wire through. We've got 15 meters. So, 45 feet of video cable plenty enough to go back six feet so we'll give this a shot here we go all right folks i kind of started without you and forgot so i've got the cab tipped up i found a spot down the right side uh channel where i can run the video cable through <clears throat> and i poked it out the back of the cab here and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run it along side here on this other big harness that goes over and down into the engine uh, and bowels of Bob, Bob's bowels. And uh, run around the side here. To tuck you in, you can see there's our engine back there in the pump. So my plan is just kind of run and snake it all the way back through there into the engine compartment. And uh, my hope is that I can poke it through there. So uh, I'm just going to kind of look. Maybe I can run through here. Uh, just kind of look for so there's some daylight that I can get through to the back. Uh, might be a little bit of a might be a little bit of a challenge to get all the way through back there. Because if I open that up, I don't see a lot of. Oh, well, I guess I do see daylight through there. If you look close, you can see through all the way through. So I'm going to find my fish tape or a, a wire or something and push that all the way through. And that should hopefully come out and I can grab it and pull it back through. So that's my goal. I will, uh, I will save you the time lapse and just do a magical finger snap and it'll all be done. So here's our snap. Like I said, snap and she's back together. So I ran everything underneath here, tied everything up, cable ties, all the tails are facing the right direction, clipped off, look at that. Looks like it's almost supposed to be there. A little bit of uh, relief here on the cables, not too tight, so we're good to go there. Look at that, perfect. Ordered a new one of these door pads too, so that'll be here. Oh, let's see, close her up. There we go.
hop inside and I'll show you where I ran the cord. So I did run the cable down through here and then out the back and then around out the back of the cab up here there is a big wire loom that I ran it next to and tied it up next next to a zip tie. So um, here we go got the picture looking good. The, uh, the only thing I noticed when I turn it off the lights here and the display still stay on so I think what I'm going to end up do is doing is just getting another accessory switch and uh, dropping it in right here so I can cut that power off. Not that that's going to be a huge drain but you know there may be a few weeks a month between using it especially in the summer um, when we're not moving hay and snow and stuff in the winter so uh, probably just adding a quick uh, master switch here to turn it off will be advantageous. Um, so that'll be that'll be good. So I guess now we're gonna go out and uh, move some hay for the horsies uh, and call it a night. So thank you for checking this episode out. Our next project, who knows? I know we are moving ahead with our shop plans that is going into fabrication and should be here anytime between four weeks and 12 weeks. So uh, we'll see when it shows up. Got to have the concrete guys come out and pour the foundation before that. And uh, then just wait for the, uh, the adult size erector set to show up. So uh, until then, uh, have a good time. Stay safe. Enjoy yourself. Do whatever you enjoy doing. Uh, hopefully that includes hitting like and subscribe below. Tell your friends. It lets YouTube know that uh, we're good folks here. We put out good content and they should show me in more places. So again, thanks a lot and take care. Bye-bye.